walk away You were singing over me And you have been so, so good to me Before I took a breath You breathed your life in me been so so kind to me
Tracy? What are you doing? Well, I'm warming up for worship. What do you think I was doing? Okay. Are you telling me you don't know you don't want to know why? <laughs> oh, uh, yes, I am dying to know why, Charles. Well, because this month we're learning about worship. Oh yeah, we are. Our faith declaration this month is I was made to worship God. Church kids, have you ever pulled up into church on Sunday, walked into church kids and wondered to yourself, why am I standing here singing these songs? What's the point of all of this? Yeah, and maybe there's someone standing next to you who is singing super off key and you can't focus because they are singing really loud and doesn't sound very good, but it's your friend and you don't want to say anything but you just can't stand it anymore. Okay, sounds like Charles has some things to work out over maybe. there. Maybe. But anyway, sometimes I wonder to myself, why do we worship? And if that's something you wonder about too, then hold on to your hats, people. Uh I don't have a hat. Me either. Church kids, our memory verse this month is, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Psalm 150 verse 6. So that means you, me, Hank the camera guy, my dog Fido, my best friend Gary, his dog Steve. Okay, no. yep, 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 pretty much all of them. Yep. We are all called to worship God. So guess what we're going to do? Eat tacos. <gasps> what? No, we're going to sing some worship songs. Oh, okay, well, well that's great too. Well, actually, we're going to be humming because we hmm. have a game to play. Hmm. All right, here's the rules of the game. We each have a card with worship songs on it. We have 90 seconds to hum as many worship songs as we can. We're each going to guess the name of the worship songs. Mm -hmm. Whoever guesses the most wins. wins. Also, if you're watching this and you know the worship song we're humming before we guess it, make sure you yell it out super yell, loud. Yell it out. Join in. Let us join in. Let us know what it is. Join on in. All right. <laughs> Next song. Next one. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Great. Good. What? <laughs> nerve-wracking. Oh, I'm so nervous. Woo! You got, okay, church kids, you, please don't judge me because I know the songs, like the lyrics, but I don't know their titles. Great. I just don't know their titles. I'm nervous! All right, Charles. Here we go. Ready? <sighs> got my listening ears okay. on. Okay. <laughs> you are, that is who you are. Miracle worker, miracle worker. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next one. Go, go, go. Uh, uh. I don't know. Wait, wait. I don't know. Go next, next, next. This is really throwing it back. Oh my gosh. Okay. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Oceans. <laughs> Also throwing it back. This this, this is my battle. What? Don't you really just get two? You got two. Oh. Right, let's do a second round. Oh my gosh! Round two. Two. <laughs> That's all I have. Okay, next. <laughs> Another in the wait, can I tell her? Oh yeah, that is another in the fire. Yeah, it was. There is another. I don't know this one. I don't know the name to this song. With my arms stretched wide. Nope. nope. <laughs> At the cross. Next one. You clearly didn't watch the video, did you? <laughs> oh, the new song? I didn't know it! Okay. I don't want anything else. I don't know that song. I need your love. It's called Need Your Love. No idea. I don't know. Okay. So hard. Anyway. I want to see you or know you or. Can you do the chorus? That is the chorus. It is? Oh. <laughs> oh wait, maybe it goes. I want to. I don't know the name. I don't know the name. Go, go, go. Next what? one. <laughs> Shout to the Lord. No! Yeah! <laughs> Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. I feel like I'm a better Lord hummer than you are. Majesty, praise to the King. Ba, 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 mountains of course I know that one. Down in the seas will roar. At the sound of your name. name, I seek for joy at the world. And they would always put a key change right there. I seek for joy. <laughs> to really inspire the people. Church kids, worship is what we do to show God thankfulness for who he is and what he's done for us. And we know that he has done a whole lot. Yep, yep. Well, all right, everyone, get up on your feet and get ready to play a sweet game. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Let's... <laughs> What's up, church kids? It's me, TJ Jeremias, and we are here with another very fun game that I like to call Fill the Bucket. This game is going to be a head-to-head -head race between you and your church kid opponent. Loser is the biggest chicken nugget head in church kids. Okay, so the rules for this game are simple. Each player is going to need two buckets and one sponge. One of the buckets is going to be filled with water with the sponge in it, while the other bucket is empty across the room. I'm putting my buckets all the way down this big old hallway so I can show y'all who ain't the chicken nugget head around these parts, partner. Your goal is to fill the empty bucket with water only using the sponge to move the water. 
The first chicken nugget head to fill their bucket with water is the winner, and the one who doesn't win is an even bigger chicken nugget head with barbecue sauce. I hope you're ready to squeeze this sponge and eat some lunch and win this race so you are not the chicken nugget head. The game begins in three, two, one. So, worshiping means loving God and letting him know that we are focused on him. And like our memory verse says, everything that has breath should praise the Lord. Church kids, we have a fun special guest on today's episode to teach us more about why we worship. Ooh, is it Tim? Who? Batman? Uh, what? Moana. Oh my word. Raise your hand if you love donuts. I love donuts. There's chocolate, there's sprinkles, there's maple, there's bacon donuts. Have you ever had a bacon donut? Mm, they're, they're flaky and they're soft and they're kind of squishy and they're frosty. Mm, I could go for a donut right now. Raise your hand if you want a donut right now. All right, I don't have a donut for you. But listen, how many of you are hungry for a donut? You know, me just talking about these donuts right now has made your mouth water probably. It's made you think about donuts. And when we focus our attention on donuts, we have this response that makes us want more donuts. And you know, worship is actually the exact same way. When we worship God, when we sing about God, when we clap, when we dance, when we lift up our voices, when we talk about God, when we read the Bible, when we do these things, what are we doing? We focus our attention on God. And worship is just that. It's what do we put our attention towards? And the same is true of anything else. When we focus our minds and our attention solely on something, it becomes the thing that we worship. Maybe it's Fortnite, maybe it's basketball, maybe it's some other sport, maybe it's friends at school. I don't know what you worship. But the number one most important thing for us to always worship is our God. And when we come into church, we have the opportunity all together to put aside all the distractions, to sing, to dance, to clap, to think about our God. And the thing that's amazing about this is whatever we focus our attention on, it gets bigger in our life. Have you ever been worried? Have you ever been sad? What happens? The more you think about that thing, the more sad or worried you become. The same thing is true in the Bible. And the Bible says that whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are true, think on these things. When we worship, that's what we're doing. We're making our God bigger than our problems. My name's Jaden, and this is the time we learned why and how we worship. Oh, hi. Welcome to Connect HQ. I'm Mike. Hi, Mike. My name is Bree. I heard this was the place to come if I have questions about God. You heard right. My name's Jaden. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> so, how can we help you? Well, I'm interested in learning more about worship, why we worship God, and different ways we can worship God. Oh, well, I'm going to worship night at my church tonight. You're welcome to come with me. Actually, I was hoping I could study worshipers in their natural habitat, if that's possible. Oh. Uh 
What? I'm a researcher. I like to learn from people by watching what they do naturally. Do you think you could help me do that? Well, um, Mike, if you want to show Bree around HQ, I can start working on tracking down some links. Sure thing. Bree, I will be your tour guide. Wonderful. I have an outfit brought up for you. Do what now? Hey, uh, Bree, khaki's not really my color, by the way. Nobody wears khaki because they like the color, Mike. Now, who's that? It's Rodney. He looks like a good first subject. Okay, so what do we do now? We wait for the worshiping to start. <sighs> oh my goodness, I didn't realize how late it was. Only a couple hours until I have to leave for church. God, please help me find the right links for Bree. I don't want to miss out on worshiping you tonight. Thanks, amen. Okay. Reverse. Let's see what I can find. Bree! How long are we gonna sit here? How long does it take a person to start worshiping? It's not something you can plan on. <sighs> hey! I have an idea. Here, you stay here. I'm gonna go talk to him like I normally would. I promise it will not interfere with your study. Thinking on your feet. I like it. Do it. From Mike? <laughs> and what are you wearing? Uh, I am trying out a new uniform. Okay. I don't think khaki's your color. I know, right? Oh, so what are you doing? I'm just looking over footage from the outside that I took earlier this week. Look at that mountain, it's beautiful. Good job, Rodney. <laughs> well, it's not me. It's God. God made that mountain. And God made every tree. And every bird, God made everything that we see and everything that we don't see, no matter how big or small. That's, that's amazing. For sure, God is awesome. God is awesome. And I need to do something to show him how awesome I think he is. God deserves my worship. God deserves my worship. That's a great point, Rodney. I know what I have to do. Hmm? Impromptu worship dance party time! Uh, impromptu worship dance party time! Talking about how amazing it was that God created the mountains and the trees and the birds. That's one reason why we worship God, because he created everything in the universe. He created you, he created me, he created our friends and family. And because of that, he is worthy of our worship. Ooh, which, which ties in perfectly with the verse link I just found. Do you want me to teach it to you? Of course. Okay, so it's from the book of Revelation, chapter four, verse 11. Revelation 4, 11. Revelation 4, 11. You are worthy, our Lord and God. You are worthy, our Lord and God. To receive glory and honor and power. To receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things. For you created all things. When we realize how much God deserves our worship, we can't help but worship him. That's why Rodney started playing worship music and dancing. Those are two ways to worship God. And that's why I'm so excited to go to worship night at my church. <sighs> Fascinating. This is fascinating. Thank you both for your help. Oh, um, I'm gonna go get started on those Bible links. I don't wanna miss out on worshiping tonight. Great, so you ready to get back out there, Bree? Let's see what new subjects we can find. Hey, Bree, do you wanna, I don't know, go to a different room? I was thinking we could like climb into the vents and Watch the quiet time group pray. I don't mind staying here. I once hid in the tree in the African savanna for three days trying to catch a glimpse of a wild king cheetah. You and I have lived very different lives. Shh. I think somebody's coming. Ah! 
up? Mike! Hey! Where did you come from? I am checking the squeakiness of chairs. <laughs> yep, still squeaky. So, what are you working on? Well, I'm working on some new ideas for a skit vision video. Ooh, what about? Rodney suggested that we make a video about worshiping God and all the different ways that you can do that. I just love it. So I volunteered to make a list of all the different ways. Ooh, so what do you have on the list so far? A lot of things. Singing and dancing, of course, but also things like raising your hands up to God while you worship, listening to him quietly, serving others, giving to those in need, and writing about him like I am right now. It is so awesome that God gave us so many ways to worship Him. I know, and I love that I can help other people figure out ways to worship God too. Oh, well, good luck on that video. I've got more chairs to test for squeakiness. <laughs> Bye. No idea there were so many different ways to worship God. It's amazing. I know, it's not just music and dancing, it's so much more than that. Well, that leads me to another question. Out of all the ways to worship God that your friend listed, does everyone worship in all of those ways? Definitely not. God made each of us, and that includes making each of us to worship Him in a different way. So, how do I figure out how I'm supposed to worship God? Well, ask God. If you ask him for help, he'll show you the right ways to live your whole life in worship to him. I wonder what way God made me to worship him. I can't wait to find out. <sighs> Looks like Jaden found a Bible link. <gasps> Onward! Oh. I was having the hardest time finding a Bible link for you, Bree, but... I took a moment and I asked God to help me and he guided me to the perfect video. I can't wait to see it. It was Passover time. Jerusalem was filled with people. When Jesus reached the Mount of Olives, a hill overlooking Jerusalem, he told two of his disciples to find a donkey. They found the donkey and put their cloaks on it. Jesus rode on the donkey, fulfilling the Bible verse that says, here comes your king, Jerusalem, riding on a donkey. Jesus rode the donkey down to Jerusalem. Many people remembered his miracles and joined him. They put cloaks and palm branches on the road before him to honor him. They hoped that Jesus was God's promised savior. So they shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the king of Israel. The whole world is following him. The Pharisees grumbled. Tell them to be quiet, Jesus. Even if everyone stopped shouting, Jesus replied, the stones would still praise me. Jesus is our God and King. The people of Jerusalem worshiped him because they knew he deserved all the glory and honor they could give him. And if the people didn't worship Jesus, the rocks would, because everything God's created knows how awesome and worthy he is, rocks included. How would a rock worship? You know, I don't know. I always assumed it was something like <gasps> Like that. Interesting. Interesting. I can't thank you both enough for helping me answer my question. I feel like now I have a better understanding of why and how we worship God. I'm not going to forget that God deserves my worship. You know, it was awesome watching other people worship in their natural habitat. And I'll admit, the clothes kind of grow on me after a while. Oh my goodness, I need to go. I don't want to be late for worship night. Oh, have a good time, Jaden. I learned a lot from watching you worship too. Me? Well, just a few minutes ago when you said you were having a hard time finding the right Bible link, but then you took a moment and asked God for help and he led you to the perfect video. You both served me and brought glory to him and according to my notes, those are both two great ways to worship God. Huh, I guess. I was worshiping God without even realizing it. You know what, that is so awesome that we can worship God anywhere, not just in a church. Thanks for pointing that out, Bree. Happy to be of service. Hi, I'm Mike and I'm a part of Connect HQ. I have this great verse I wanna share with you. Say it with me like this. Revelation 4:11. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory 
and honor and power, for you created all things. God created everything that is good in this world, and that is amazing. And because of that, He is worthy. He deserves all the glory and honor that we can give Him with our whole lives. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the people there couldn't help but worship Him. They understood the truth that Jesus is our God and King. And it's not just people. All of creation knows how worthy Jesus is, even the rocks. It's easy sometimes to think that worship is only about singing worship songs and dancing, but there's so much more to it than that. We can worship God by serving others, writing about God, giving to those in need, and in so many other ways. And if you're not sure what the right way to worship God is for you, just ask Him. God made us all to worship in different ways, and He will lead you to the right answer. Don't forget, God deserves my worship. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Church kids, don't forget this week that we are called to worship God. Yep, we worship to show God thankfulness and love for Him and all He has done for us. And if we have breath in our lungs, <laughs> uh, yep. Anyway, if we have breath in our lungs, we should be worshiping Him. <laughs> Thank you for ending that sentence because I was running out of breath. So your challenge this week is to practice worshiping so when we all come together next weekend, you will be ready to sing, dance, and worship the Lord the best you can. See you then, church kids. And don't forget, it's a great day to be a church kid! Yeah, 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 yeah.